necklace. Now, as you guys know, I... <laughs> well, as you guys know, I... Hello, party people! Hi! It's Randy for Thunder Horse Ascendant. I'm here today and I have a little project I'm super excited about. Um, it's from Jesse James Beads and I'm going to be using the Young Love Strands and it's going to be super fun. So I'm going to flip you guys over. I'm going to show you what beads I'm using today and what materials we're going to need and then we'll get on into the beading. Here we go! Okay guys, so here we are on the mat and um, these are the items I'm going to be using today. Um, so what we have is a tear cast braided three hole bar link. This is an antique gold and that's what that guy looks like. I'm going to be using him today. Um, also going to be using the bead strands in young love so i'm using two of them i'm super excited about this project because i love 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 these rose beads and these are uh look like a dyed agate stone it's got boho beads like it has all the things so i grabbed up two of those also, we have some Czech glass 8mm light rose pearls. We're going to be using those. I believe, I'm not 100%, but I'm fairly certain you get um, 50 beads in there. Um, and then, shot to the heart. So let me say this. Um, if you are new to my videos, one of the things I like to do is I like to find some components for Jesse James beads that I can use numerous times. And this one... Let's just give her an open. The shot to the heart in gold metal mix is the one thing I feel like in this round of, I'm going to move you down just a smidge. In this round of beading for my new videos that come out every Wednesday um, is going to be the guy you're going to see over and over again. So this is what it looks like out of the package and the reason for this <clears throat> I know I have these hearts reserved for another project I know I have some of these arrows reserved for another project that I'm gonna do this month on YouTube I don't know how many exactly I will need for that but a few anyway <clears throat> so now the, the beads that I have reserved for this project I'm going to switch out some of these silver components and put gold in. So I'm glad that it came with bead caps and also it has these little roses beads. And these beads um, for the Young Love necklace, we've got some little hearts on there. We've got some little heart beads. So I feel like this guy right here, of all the things that I've picked, this guy is going to be making an appearance numerous times. So I wanted to just make sure that I'm showing you guys everything about it. Um, so we're going to use some spacers and stuff like that. The reason for that is I am, uh, I've got four projects planned and I know we're going to see it numerous times over and over again. But I just wanted to say that... Um, when I got this, I was very happy with it. It is heavy. It's very substantial. I feel like a lot of these are maybe Tierra cast or um, something like that. That's what they feel like. So I'm super excited about it. Look at how cute that is. Okay. So anyway, I know for sure using these on a different project. So I'm going to make sure to put those kind of to the side. I'm going to pull out another one of those arrows just in case someone makes something earrings so I'm gonna put those to the side over here but anyway so we're gonna be using that guy also I've grabbed up soft flex and this is in the pink rotocrosite color and so um, I thought that was pretty matching for our um, 
project. So this is in medium. And again, you can get this on um, Jesse James beads. Also some Beadalon art stick wire. And this is 22 gauge gold. You know, I am a firm believer in 22 gauge. <laughs> live my life in 22 gauge so anyway that's what i'm going to be working with you're going to need your general tools you're going to need your um, chain nose you are going to need a flush cutter a round nose a crimper a scissor and that's probably it i have an extra um chain nose just for you know things oh i also have a bent nose which kind of just depends on uh those are extra you definitely need these ones uh so let's get on into the beading today all right party people let's get this situation started so what i'm gonna do for this necklace is i'm gonna start at the bottom of the necklace and um, we're going to be using the soft flex beading wire in medium, but before we get into that, we are going to make ourselves um, some little wrap charms here with the artistic wire. Now, if you have head pins, you could go ahead and use those, but I'm just going to wire wrap myself up some little charmy charms and these are for the end so we're starting at the bottom of the necklace and we're gonna start at the very end so I am going to put on my charm and then what I'm gonna do is just Make this wire wrapped loop and get this all situated. You could also make matching earrings by making this these little charm wraps as well if you'd like and <clears throat> I've just decided to use two of these little drops some of those um, little spacers from the shot through the heart Pack it and just wrap it up like so. I'm going to go around, a little around the bead just to give it a little extra something, you know. And then just going to push them in. And kind of up and underneath and there we go so there's for one side and then we'll do the other side <clears throat> so I'm pulling out about um, three and a half inches of wire here maybe four inches and just gonna do the other side so on the other side, I'm going to put two charms. I'm going to put this little arrow and this little heart. Just for fun. Just for funsies. And then I'm going to wire wrap this guy up. So we are using, I don't know if I said this before, but we are using that, um, the artistic wire, 22 gauge in gold that is available on the website. 
I believe. So we got our two little charms on there. And then I'll just do the same, put a spacer in this little drop bead. So I don't know if you guys saw the blooper. <laughs> or I dropped my beads all over. So they're kind of in disarray over here. But you know, the show must go on. So again, just wire wrapping going around the bead. And just letting it fall into the coil where it wants to. Alrighty, so that's what we got. They're all facing the right way. These look to be about the same, so we're good to go. So, oh, this one's got a little pokey itch. Can there you. All right, so I'm just going to put those to the side. Up here. For right now. Since we got our wire out, we're just also going to wire up um, our little Tierra Cast three hole bead. So I put a photo at the beginning of the video. So I hope you guys are with me on this. This is, um, I'm just going to do this portion first because we're doing wire wrapping. And I'm like, well, we're doing wire wrapping, may as well do it. Um, so I'm just going to make a loop. Again, if you have head pins, you can use those if you'd like. But I figure let's do all these things at once. And then all we'll have to do is do our stringing and connect it all together. If you guys have been here for a while, you know I kind of like to do that. So there's one. You do not need that much. That's too much. <laughs> That's too much. You don't need that much. Alright. About three wraps there. And make sure it's all tucked in. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one in the furthest hole. And this one in the furthest hole. The other side, leaving the middle one open. Bring that down. And then this is where we will attach our... I don't know what we're going to call them, our long tails, I guess. Um, I'm going to use two of these rubber spacer beads, or spacer beads. They came on the strand, so I wanted to use them. And this is how it's going to look. So for right now, I'm just going to take that one out. And I'm just going to wire wrap on here. You could put something on top of this pearl if you wanted to. It's up to you. No rules. So I'm just doing the wrap here. Let's see, way too much wire. But a lot of times what I do is I use those little wire pieces again as head pins or whatever. And I'm just gonna get this all tucked in here without scraping up my check glass pearl. And then we'll do them do the other side. Easy peasy. Put on our bumper. In our pearl. Now, when doing this side, you kind of gotta, you kind of gotta look out for the other side. It makes it a little uncomfortable, but not so uncomfortable that it's like not doable, you know. Just go around in a circle, away from fall down. 
<laughs> That's what I did. All right. Give him a little work hard in. Get all that chucked in there the right way. And so, you can do a little adjusting if you need to. So that's what he looks like. So this is basically our center middle piece. And uh, I just have both my loops going the same direction. It doesn't matter if they're, you know, what directions they're going as long as they're all going the same direction. So that we will put to the side. So now we're ready to just jump right into stringing. And so, what we'll be doing is we will be, this is our centerpiece, so we will be making some strands here with our beading wire um, and just crimping, beading, stringing, beading, and connecting it. Now my idea is, is that these will, one will be a little longer than the other. So we're going to do this and we'll just connect each one. So... I take my beading wire and since <clears throat> excuse me one just is going to be longer than the other uh, I'm going to cut about six inches of wire for one side and I'm going to cut about nine inches of wire for the other side so that is going to include the crimping and the, all that so, we got to get some crimp tubes, beads. I thought I had uh, gold ones over here, but I guess I don't. I'm going to use bead covers anyway, gold bead covers. So I'm not too concerned about that. I'm just put those over here. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna take our first dangle, put our wire through there. Let me get this one out of the way. So, Oh, this looks to be the longer strand. So actually, I want to work with the shorter strand first, just so I can gauge how long I want the longer one. So put the shorter one on there. And I'm going to go with a crimp bead. Put him on the short side. Run the long side back up through the bead. Okay. There he is. And just pull him down. All right, zoom in a little bit. So this is what I got. I'm going to take my crimping tool. So our crimper has lips and an eye. Okay, so what I'm going to do to crimp is I'm just going to make sure that these are not twisted up inside the bead. And then I am going to go in the lips first. Squish it. So, if you can see there, separates the wires. And then I'm going to go in with the eye side and give it a squish. Do a little pull test. Everything looks good. So I am going to use a bead cover on here. Just because I feel comfortable with that. And so I'm just making sure he's in there. And then I'm just going to close up this bead cover and 
And there we go. We're ready to start stringing. And what I'm going to do for that, so since this is our shorter side, my idea is, is that I want to use a few of these pearls more towards the bottom. And maybe, uh, let's see, can I get through there? Oh yeah, okay. So I'm put these pearls on there. So these are the check pearls. You can find these on the website, on the Jesse James Speeds website. And my kind of my idea with my stringing right now is that the pearls will be more towards the bottom and then the the more um cool beads from the strand are gonna be towards the top. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I get it together. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. But anyway, so I got four pearls on there. I think I will do five. Yeah, five might be too many. Because I want to do one of these, one of these, one of these. I might even want to do a boho. That might be a little bit much. One of those. Okay, so I'm pulling these out and then I'm just making sure I have enough for the other side. Because, you know, I dropped my beads all over the place. <laughs> so that looks good. I am going to put one of those little roses on there. And maybe one of these little spacers. I'm debating. Do I want to put one of these? Maybe I do. All right, we'll try that. So, 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 so I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start adding these cool components from the strand. And I'm like, I don't know if I want those two like right next to each other. Get them off there. And I'm gonna end with this little rose. How's that go? That looks pretty good. So now before I put him on there and connect him with this one, because that's where he'll go, um, I'm going to doodle up the other one because <clears throat> because this is supposed to be the longer one. And when I'm putting my beads on, I want to make sure that these ones here are not like at the exact same spot. So they're not fighting for space, but I also, because I want the pearls more towards the bottom, you know, so in the interest of saving myself some heartache, <clears throat> I'm going to not connect it just yet. So I'll just put that over there. So again, I got my longer strand. I've put my charm on. Got my crimp bead on there. So now I'm just going to take the longer side and go back through the crimp bead. Pull that down. And we're going to do the crimping. Do the crimp. Do the crimp. Pull test. 
a little bead cover on there. So if you're wondering, I'm using three millimeter crimp covers. If you are not aware, they do make them in all different sizes, all the way up to big old honking 12 millimeters, I think. I don't know if, I don't even know if that's the biggest one they make. Okay, so now I'm going to use pearls like I did with the last side. All right, guys. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start putting my pearls on. I'm going to leave three pearls out to add into this strand because I do not want my beads to hit exactly the same place as that other strand because I don't want them to be pushing each other out of the way. I want them to just lay nice, play nice, lay and play nice. <laughs> so I'm going to move this down here so you can see what I mean. So this is my shorter strand. And so I got four pearls on there, but I got two, four, six, seven on this side. And I'm going to start building up this other side. And okay, what I want to do is I want to add a pearl because I don't want them to be the exact same length. Another thing that I'm going to do to offset that is I'm going to, instead of putting this one, I'm going to put this one. Because I think those are going to really maybe push each other out at the top. So, um, we'll see when we get up there, I guess. So I'm hoping I've given myself enough space. I'm going to add this pearl as well to where they're not going to be pushing each other out of the way. So it is a little different with the beading, but I don't know that it'll really be too much because they're going to be connected here. I think it'll be fine. You see how they're not exactly next to each other. <clears throat> I'm just looking to make sure that's what I want. Honestly, these two at the top are a little close. They're just a little bit close. I could add, I have another little gold flower. I could stick him in there. Maybe I'll do that. Just because I don't want it to look like when we hang it on there that it's like Y-ing out. You know what I mean? Like they're pushing each other out of the way so it looks like they're not laying nicely together. Yeah, I think that's going to be better because see it's a little further down now. Alright, okay. So I'm happy with that. Good thing I didn't connect it because that was the first one that I did. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect the short strand to our little um, Kira cast connector guy we got here. So I'm going to do my connecting on the bottom side that has no beads on it. So this to me is going to be the bottom side. So I'm going to put him in there. I'm going to get my crimping going on. Crimp bead. I'm going to go back through this rose bead. And give him... Oh! Look what I did. I, I didn't go through... I, I got to put the crimp bead. 
and then the sky. <clears throat> and then go back through the crimping. Hello. <laughs> Can't be crimping with nothing to crimp onto, you know? All right. So now I just get a hold of that little tail, give him a little pull. Not too much. I don't want him to be so tight they can't move. And I'm also going to put on a um, bead cover here. So, you know, there's going to be a little space for that. Oh, I'm going to zoom you in. Oh, that didn't work. I'm going to zoom you in. <laughs> so, they're not twisted. Let me just make sure. Squish. And then go in that side. Little pull test. Now, before I put the crimp cover on, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to cut this tail. So I put my crimp cover. Might need to get my player so I can get him in there. Hey. Whoops, the struggle is real. Hold on. Get him in there. Why not working? It's in there, crooked. There we go. Okay. Oh, got that done. Okay, now I will do the other side. Same process. Put on the crimp bead. Go through this side. Back through here, through the rose bead, and then get him snugged up as well. Bring in the crimper. Sliding down. Commit to the crimp. <laughs> there we go. Go in here, do my trim up close to the bead as I can. And then get my bead cover for that side. A lot of crimping in this necklace. You guys, crimping on camera is my absolute, not my favorite. Because it's such a weird angle. <laughs> it's just like, oh. Alright, you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it this way. So you can see the whole bit. So here's what we got. I am very happy with it. Now, as we move into the next portion. So this is the bottom of our necklace. Okay. Up here is where we're going to build out the top of our necklace. So I can probably do it like this now. 
And so what I want to do here is I want to put, just like right here, I put all the real cool um, Jesse James beads from the strand. I want to focalize them down here and then the rest to be pearls. So the idea with that was kind of like if you looked at it, well, I'll, I'll explain as we go further. <laughs> Okay, so here's the rest of my beads. What I want to do is I want to sort these out to make sure I'm going to have enough for each side. So I'm going to just start sorting because there's nothing worse than getting your project all ready to go and then you get there and you ain't got enough beads to do whatever it is you're trying to do because you're short one on one side. Trust me, I do that a lot. <laughs> so... I'm also shorting, um, sorting the pearls because I want to make sure we got enough for each side on the pearl situation. And I have these, but you know, I'll tell you the truth, I don't. These are flat, and I don't know if I want to put flat in my necklace, so I might save these for another project. I was going to use these bead caps, but they were too big, really, for this for these beads. So we don't get to use those in this, this little section, but we do have two little hearts. We've got two little hearts. We could probably add those in there. Roses and hearts. I mean, how can you go wrong? All right. So now we have each side. I'm going to put this, uh, you know, uh, I will connect to it. Okay, so this is going to be about a 24-inch necklace. It's supposed to be like a mid-length necklace, okay? This this portion is supposed to hit like 24 inches. So that means that we need to measure this. <laughs> and... I mean, you wouldn't have to make it this long because you're going to have all this dangle. Like, you could do 18. I think I think what I'll do is I'm going to do 20, and I'm going to add an inch for crimping and la ti da you know? Because I think, I think that would be good. All right. So, this is my middle. Let's cut that. And I'm just going to make the same side just like this. You guys, why did I cut that for? That was only 12 inches, right? Am I losing my mind? Hold on. <laughs> 10 inches. So it should be 11 inches. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, it just looked really short to me for some reason. I was like, what is happening? Alrighty. Two pieces of 11 inches. Here we go. And I'm just going to start right out by crimping onto the top of this. You guys, I'm so excited. I might have to go in here and add a bead cover. That one's a little loose. Yeah. Okay. So. All right, guys, here we are. We got our crimps on. I just did this because I'm just like, how much crimping do you really need to see in one video? So, I gotta have a little zip coffee. All right, so we got our two sides here ready to go. All we gotta do is string them up. Easy peasy. Get all this out of the way. So now, what I wanted to do here, I'm gonna do this side first, is I want to focus more of the designer beads I would say towards um, from the strands towards the bottom here and then work out to the pearl so I am going to start out I wonder if I can do this if I can start out with this rosebud let me see I can oh yeah that's cute okay and then 
maybe this silver guy and a pink stone and sparkly square and a little heart I wonder if that's gonna sit on there weird we shall see boho bead I think it's fine. And this other stone guy. Another heart. And then pearls. So these are all the pearls that I've designated for this side. So I'm just adding them in. And it might even be more than we need. Maybe. We shall see. And I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but these are... These pearls, these check pearls are 8 millimeter, And they are like a light pink... Like a light baby pink almost. What did the thing say? Light rose. Light rose pearls. And I really I really enjoy them. I think they're really pretty. Can we get these last three on there? Two, three. Yes, we can. Look at that. Perfect. All right. So, I'm just going to put a bead stuff around here for this one particular little second. And I'll do the other side the exact same way. So we got the spacer, the rose bead. You guys, this is what I always do when I'm when I'm stringing. I always do like this. I turn it this way so that I can just follow up the side. So then if I miss something, I know that I've missed something. Now, see right here, you're like, Randy, why are you not concerned about these roses being right here? And I am not concerned about these roses because this necklace is meant to, like when you have it on, it's meant to Y out at the top. Not necessarily at the bottom where we were discussing that earlier. So I'm not worried about that at all. Bum, ba -da. What are you doing, little flower bead? Trying to be silly? This one is on there just fine. This one. This one is trying to be slightly silly. Probably because I just have it in a weird place. So I'm going to try to find a different place. That's better. Okay. And on to this. So now I'm just copying this pattern that I have set up for myself. Yeah, make sure you get your hearts on there right side up. So when you're stringing this way, you put them, put them in through the point, not in through the top heart part. That makes sense. I don't know how many times I have been beating and then I get done and I look and I'm like, why is that upside down? <laughs> what are you doing, Randy? And now the pearls. Easy peasy stringing, stringing those on. Mm-hmm. 
do. After we get done with this, I am going to crimp the ends of these. And then I'll come back on to show you how I or pick a clasp. I got to find a clasp I want to use. And then also, I think I got to put a bead cover down on one of those strands because it's there's a little bit of space that I don't like. So I might have to talk about that. But anyway. Once I get these. Mm -hmm. Once I get those crimped down, that is what she's going to look like. And so the idea here was that the strands are focused more in the middle. And then the ends have pearls, so it's like, boom, you know, like those two strands. And that was, it's a bit, it's there. And that was the idea for that. So um, let me finish up these little strands and we will go from there. Are short what you could do um, is you could be creative here and you could put two lobster clasps if you wanted to for your ends and then well I'll show you guys I'll show you under So I'm going to put a jump ring on this side because I want to be able to show you, I want to be able to attach a lobster clasp on this side and show you guys what exactly I'm talking about. Because I feel like this necklace is something that can be worn short or long. And either way, I think it's going to look good. So, but I want to give you the option for that. So just doing my little pull test on that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here is what it looks like. You could add an extender chain on here. We got to go down here. We got to fix this one little, we got to fix this one little thing. And so what I'm doing is I'm just going to add an empty bead cover in here somewhere, probably right here. To fill up that space so see now how there is no more space because i filled it up with three millimeters worth of space by adding that empty bead cover so there's that so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to try this on so you guys can see i'm also going to get you the um i'm also going to get you the photos in the video as i normally do but i wanted to show you something so, one moment. Hi. So, you may notice that I'm not wearing the same thing as I was yesterday. And the reason for that, when I started this necklace, is I wanted to make it long. I made it yesterday. 
and I wanted to make it long. And the idea that I had didn't work out, so it took me till today to get it all worked out, and I think I got it. So I'm going to show you guys. So here's what she looks like. So you can see, and I'll try to get better photos for you. It's supposed to be like the pearls are on the outside and the two strands are just like in the middle because that's pretty much going to be the focal. So this one is a 20 inches, right? So when you put it on, it's 20 inches. I love this. I really do love this. I showed this to my significant other and he hated it. <laughs> hated it. But anyway, so here's what it looks like. Now, here's the option that I was trying to figure out. Okay. So I'm going to take it off and um, I am going to open up this where on this one end we added a jump ring. Okay. Sorry, I know you can't see me. We added this jump ring. And so I'm going to open that jump ring and I'm going to add another lobster clasp onto there. I don't know if I have another great big one. Oh yeah, I do. I do have two great big ones, so I'll just do that. So I just add that onto my jump ring. Okay. So this is just a little tidbit. So then you could... You could still keep both those lobsters on there and just hook into the lobster. You know what I mean? Instead of having a jump ring, just hook into your lobster. You have your 24, 20, you know, whatever. Or you can take your eight inches of big girl chain you still have left from the original, <laughs> from the original goings ons. And now you just take your lobster and you hook on to the one of that big girl chain. Take your other lobster, you hook on to that big girl chain, and boom, you now have a long layering necklace. This is what I was trying to figure out yesterday. It took a little while. And now it's just an over the head. Nobody's the wiser up here with this. And look how it looks there. Now it's long. It's to the belly button. Right? I dig it. I like it when things are like multifunctional. So um when I take the photos, I'll take a I'll take a couple of photos with the with it like this and with it just regular the way it's supposed to be. So Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you will subscribe and leave me a comment. Um, yeah, just support your girl, support the YouTube channel. Anything you can do, do a share, do a ring the bell, do all the YouTube things. All that is helpful and appreciated. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.